Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I bought this from Sephora Canada and I was really, really keen and I'm really into green right now. Like, I mean, I put it all in my palette and now I'm seeing it everywhere, which makes me feel like I was totally in the right mind frame when I was designing my own palette. But yeah, I wanted to try the Prism Palette in a look and I wanted to do something a lot more creative since people have been requesting that, well, like two people requested it in like my Instagram photos, please go follow me on Instagram. And I also wanted to chuck my wig on. Yes, I did not dye my hair. I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's a wig. This wig was not expensive. Oh yes, giveaway. I got this amazing Bare Minerals thing. I think Mecca sent it to me. I, I think it did come in like another box that I took off, but I wanna give this to someone because it's really cool. It is an advent calendar of makeup. They weren't super good at hiding what's in there, but there's some really good shit in here. So I'm going to give this to someone and I'm really keen for it because it's an awesome gift. I'll send it anywhere in the world. You just have to be a member of my notification squad. So you have to be subscribed, have notifications turned on. That way you'll be notified of my new videos. So you must leave a comment in the first 12 hours of me putting this video up. That's enough chatting from me. Let's move into the look. I'll start out by putting a little bit of foundy on my eyes simply because I'm going to do my eyes first, so I'll need to even those out. Okay, I mean, I have not used the Anastasia palette in ages, but I really loved the look of this one. It has that acid green. It kind of forces you to be creative because of the unique mixture of shades. I'm going to try to use like as many colors as I can. I follow this amazing Instagram account called Apropo Makeup, and um, I've been meaning to do like some kind of crazy mix of colors similar to what they do, and they're amazing. Definitely go follow them. I'll start out with Lua and I'm going to put that in the socket. Okay, so that's blended in. I'm going to try my best to actually blend properly as I go. Blending is definitely something that is really time consuming and I usually don't give myself enough time to do it. Got this Laura Mercier stick. And I'm going to put this in a little C shape on my lid there. And I'm going to pat it in. Then I've got this dark blue one from Jouer. And I'm going to make it hug the outer edge of that. And then I've got an acid green one from Makeup Forever. I'm going to put that here in the center. Starting with Sphere. Oh, the brush just came out. And I'll pack it on over the top of the acid color. Whoa, that packs a punch. Amazing. Just dusting off the brush. Next is Throne and I'll put that right next to it. And blend. Then Osiris, and packing that over the blue. I'm trying to blend it in, but I have to say, maybe it's the brush, but they're quite wet eyeshadows, especially these darker ones. And they're not really blending like the easiest. I've got some more sphere and I'm just going to blend the two together. Also soften it out just on the lid as well. Okay, I've just resorted to my finger to blend out the acid and the shimmery green because it's just a little bit diff, difficult <laughs> to blend those two together, but no bigger pretty good so far. The green and the blue look really similar by the time you blend it out, but still really nice. I'm taking the black and I'll just use it here. Ooh, intense. This kind of blending brush is so good for, you know, technical eye looks. It is the blending E36. I'm going to take parallel on that and I'm going to use it right over the joint of the blending color and the intense blue and green. I 
I'm not going to extend it over to where the acid is. I'm just going to leave it there. A little bit of fallout, but I mean, whatevs. Blend that out with the original blending brush and that first blending color, Lua. Now I'm going to take Eden and use that in the inner part of the crease. On my brow bone, I'll take Unity. I've got Dimension on a brush. I'll take Sphere once more. I'm going to very simply take black all the way underneath. Just connecting it to that upper lash line black too. And kind of winging it out. Woohoo! Perversion eyeliner. Lucid. Mascara. Moving on to the rest of my face, I'm going to prime Glow Maximizer from Dior. And I'm going to be using for foundation Makeup Forever. I haven't used this one in a while, but I still love it. The Chicla from YSL. Focusing it in here. Eyebrows. Just keeping them nice and nutty, I guess. Not too intense. Put some Gibby Brow on top. All right, Ardell 811s. Okay, I'm gonna very carefully go over the edge of the glue with eyeliner. This is. <sighs> I mean, this is a make or break moment. If I get eyeliner on my eyelid, I'm gonna be really mad. When I want it on my eyelid, I only want it to cover the glue. Now I'm gonna take Exotic Eye Gloss from Kevin Aquan. Clean up the brush between each eye. Got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shaper. I'll take the contour one. I'm gonna go straight to blending and just do a little bit. Just gonna conceal. What's going on over here? My hair's all over the shop. For blush, I'll take Benefit Rocker Tour. It's pretty. Okay, this is from this is from Tarte. I bought it in the US. It's called Skylight Highlighter. I'll just use my finger. Wow. Maybelline Brazen Beige. Okay, I'm gonna put a wig on now. Okay, I just put a a grey wig on. I just bought this at a beauty supply store in Canada because I don't think beauty supply store, well last time I went to beauty supply stores they didn't have wigs like this but they have heaps in the US and Canada so I picked this one up with my sister-in-law and um, yeah this is the finished look. I think it definitely takes a lot of like toing and froing you know with all these colors to get them to mix together especially because I had like that matte neon trying to mix it with a glittery blue and green and it didn't mix that great uh, I don't know if it was the brushes I was using but especially once I added the texture of the gloss you know it definitely took a lot of work to get them to look soft and seamless but I'm really happy with how it came out in the end that's for sure and I hope you guys enjoyed this look I'm gonna move out hold on zoom out I mean this wig was cheap like it's not that good a wig and as well like 
I know that I'm not the best at putting them on but I thought it was fun for while I'm trying out, you know, more of a colorful, outgoing makeup look. I pulled my little pieces of hair through. It kind of works, like the top of the wig is black, but my real hair is brown. I mean, any tips? Maybe it's just not the right shape for my face because it kind of goes like around my five head. But anyway, it's fun. Yeah, so that's the finished look. It's definitely super cool. It's not incredibly wearable, especially once you have a gloss on your lid. It is gonna crease, like no matter what you do, no matter who you are. Um, but it looks really cool in pictures. And really, that's what my life's about because I don't end up going anywhere when I've done my makeup a lot of the time because I work from home. I do get to go to events sometimes, but I mean, I wouldn't say I'm super like confident to wear an acid green eye. This one I'm pretty proud of, so I probably would if the right occasion came about. Like if it was a ABH party or something, I would totally do something like that. But we don't have any of those huge brands out here often. But um, yeah, wait, I feel like I need to add more of Eden in here. See, it's like a continuous process. It's really hard to, you know, make them even. Okay guys, let me know what you think. Don't forget to enter the notification squad giveaway. All you gotta do is leave a comment in the comment section provided you're a member of my notification squad. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed something a little bit more vibrant. Two people requested this kind of look in my recent Instagram pictures, so not overwhelming. I do know that people don't come to me for hectic, cool makeup looks, but it's fun every now and then. And I did buy this and I was super keen to use it. I do love the mixture of colors and I love the look I came up with. Thanks guys for tuning in. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon.